The Endurant Stent Graft System is designed to treat patients with abdominal aortic aneurysms using the endovascular approach. When placed within the aneurysm, the Endurant Stent Graft provides a permanent alternative conduit for blood flow within the patient's vasculature, thereby providing a minimally invasive alternative treatment choice in lieu of open surgery. The Endurance Stent Graft System has been specifically designed to perform in patients with challenging anatomies, such as those with short or angulated inferenal aortic necks and torturous or small iliac arteries. The Endurant Delivery System is based on the easy-to-use Accelerant Delivery System with an added tip release mechanism. Prior to using the Endurant Stent Graft System, Please review the instructions for use to obtain a detailed list of indications, warnings, precautions, and potential adverse events. Place the endurant aortic delivery system containing a bifurcated stent graft over the guide wire. Wet the graft cover of the delivery system to activate the hydrophilic coating before inserting it into the vasculature. Slowly insert the delivery system until the proximal most stent and the radiopaque markers are visualized in the aortic neck. There are four radiopaque markers at the proximal end of the stent graft fabric. The edge of the graft fabric is one millimeter above the top edge of the radiopaque markers. Adjust the position of the bifurcated stent graft such that the top edge of the graft fabric is just below the lowest renal artery. There is also a flow divider marker at the center of the bifurcation and a marker at the end of the contralateral stub leg. Use the marker on the contralateral stub leg to locate the contralateral gate before deployment. With one hand on the front grip, hold the endurant aortic delivery system stationary. Next, slowly withdraw the graft cover with the other hand by rotating the slider counterclockwise in the direction of the arrow until two to three of the covered stents have been deployed. Use angiography to verify the position of the stent graft in relation to the renal arteries. If needed, gently move the entire delivery system proximally or distally until the proximal end of the graft material is even with the distal edge of the lowest renal artery. While continuing to hold the delivery system stationary, slowly rotate the slider counterclockwise until the graft cover is withdrawn to the point that the contralateral stub leg is released from the delivery sheath. Use angiography to verify the position of the bifurcated stent graft in relation to the renal arteries. Continue to hold the delivery system stationary with one hand on the front grip. With the other hand, rotate the back end wheel clockwise in the direction of the arrows to release the suprarenal stent with anchoring pins. Continue turning the back end wheel until all parts of the suprarenal stent are completely clear from the spindle of the delivery system. Confirm that the spindle has fully separated from the crowns of the suprarenal stent. There are two methods to deploy the ipsilateral limb of the bifurcated component. Either continue to rotate the slider counterclockwise, or while holding the front grip of the delivery system stationary, use your thumb to pull the trigger on the slider and pull the slider back all the way until the distal stent of the ipsilateral limb is completely deployed. Land the graft cover radiopaque marker one centimeter past the front end of the round stent stop. This configuration provides a flush surface for advancing the delivery system in the subsequent tip recapture step. The taper tip of the endurant aortic delivery system needs to be recaptured before removing the delivery system. Gently torque and push the entire delivery system proximally approximately 3 centimeters so that the taper tip and spindle are completely clear of the suprarenal stent. Then, rotate the back end wheel counterclockwise in the opposite direction of the arrows until the spindle has been completely recaptured in the taper tip and the back end wheel has been returned to the bottom of the back end screw gear. To configure for removal, continue to hold the delivery system with one hand on the front grip and the other on the slider. Gently torque and withdraw the delivery system until the spindle is retracted into the fabric portion of the stent graft. Pull back the slider trigger and hold the slider stationary while bringing the front grip to the slider. Gently remove the delivery system using fluoroscopy to ensure that the stent graft does not move during withdrawal.
On the patient's contralateral side, insert a guide wire through the contralateral stub leg and the aortic neck portion of the previously placed bifurcated stent graft. Place the endurant iliac delivery system containing a contralateral limb over the guide wire. Wet the graft cover to activate the hydrophilic coating. Insert the delivery system into the vasculature and through the contralateral stub leg of the bifurcated stent graft. The radiopaque markers at the proximal end of the contralateral limb should be aligned to the radiopaque marker at the bifurcation of the bifurcated stent graft. Hold the front grip of the delivery system stationary. Then, slowly withdraw the graft cover with the other hand by rotating the slider counterclockwise. At any point, use your thumb to pull the trigger on the slider and pull the slider back all the way to finish deploying the stent graft. To configure for removal, continue to hold the delivery system with one hand on the front grip and the other hand on the slider. Pull back the slider trigger and hold the slider stationary while bringing the front grip to the slider. Gently remove the delivery system using fluoroscopy to ensure that the stent graft does not move during withdrawal. The Reliant Stent Graft Balloon Catheter, packaged separately, may be used to remove wrinkles and folds from the graft material as needed and to model the stent graft to the vessel wall. After consulting Reliant's instructions for use, move to advance the Reliant balloon over the guide wire to the target location. Next, inflate the Reliant balloon with contrast solution and model the stent graft to the vessel wall. Be careful to inflate the balloon only within the covered portion of the stent graft material. Deflate the balloon and repeat inflations and deflations as required within the covered stent graft material. Remove the Reliant balloon catheter from the patient when balloon modeling is complete. If other stent graft components are needed to complete a procedure, Please follow the deployment steps for the endurant aortic delivery system for aortic extension, abdominal tube, and AUI components, and deployment steps for the endurant iliac delivery system for the iliac extension component.